Hi guys, welcome to Automotive Electronics. Uh, today we're working on a GM uh, 03 to 07 error uh, 1500 truck chassis ABS module. Um, this turned out to be a remanufactured uh, module. So it is not exactly the same as the Kelsey Hayes. Looks pretty damn close. Uh, fooled me for a little while until I got it apart. But um, anyway, the repair process is the same and um, I'll show you the points to look for in there and we'll get after it. Thanks a lot. Okay, today we got us uh, another GM ABS module. The way you get these things apart is I like to use a little hook blade on my razor tool. And well, let's see if this one's got any. Some of them will have screws in them. This one does not. So I like to get started along an edge. Hook that razor blade tool in there. And just start slicing this uh, uh, probably RTV. It looks kind of like this one might have been into before. It does have pins along the way, so getting around those pins is sometimes a challenge. And it is also sometimes a challenge not to cut my own thumb off. So I'll be going around this thing slow and easy. You don't want to be too deep into it because the circuit board is right underneath there. You want to stay, let's say about this deep. Uh, let's make sure y'all can see about that deep into it. Kind of imagine your edge there. And just stay about that deep. to this part right here you won't be able to get all the way into that corner but that's all right just start over the next place you get next next place you can get to this is an older one too I did see a little difference I don't know if I've ever actually done one of these that have the uh, this is a different connector in the back. It looks very similar to all the others though, so we're going to give it a shot. I like to drive a screwdriver down the edge here. Again, staying on the edge, staying off the circuit board. Kind of wedge that sucker in there. we we'll start to get, to some, get you some separation. screwdriver. Naturally I can't find my big screwdriver, big flathead. Well in that case we'll just use a little flathead. Alright so that sucker started up you can see your circuit board now. Get you a little distance in between. housing and your top plate. I can see that I'm not prying out on my circuit board. Sometimes if you put a little pressure you can see where the RTV is still got, it. got some adhesion. Okay, so back with you here. Now we get the separation down. I've got it pretty much apart here, but it seems to be hanging up. I'm not sure what it's hanging up on. Let me 
maybe somebody got a little happy with their sealant. There it was. Yeah, that's all it was. Not really. If it's been apart, that was some good work with the sealant because uh, I don't see that it's been apart now that I get it apart. It just looked a little ragged around the edges, so I thought maybe somebody had been in it, but don't believe it has. the naked eye I don't see a whole lot of cracking that I was expecting you'll expect cracking on you know, the solder joints when here 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 um, these here and these here um, like I said I'm not seeing a whole lot of cracking with this one but uh, take a look at it under we also refill this area right here so we'll take a look under the microscope and see what we can find. My eyes are not what they once were. So we'll get over here and look. Look with the old man cheater tool. mild cracking. Nothing that I would be expecting to... Uh, that one's pretty cracked. Uh, let's look at these joints. These solder joints look pretty good and I'm not sure if that's going to be a uh, problem with this one. I said typically we'll see these they correspond with where these things solder onto the board. These I uh, believe they're solenoids. <laughs> I did a video once before I called them uh, little g-sensor thingies and uh, boy I got a lot of crap over that on the internet on the comments section and uh, you know effectively I think that is what measures the that's what the functional part of this component is is that it is measuring and breaking I don't know hell let's not act like I know and get a bunch of nasty comments <laughs> all right so I'm not seeing nothing to fix on this to be honest with you and this is a different model normally there is a relay that is in this area here and that'll sometimes have some cracking on it but this one does not have a relay and I'm kind of looking between the board down here and to see the components that are on the other side of the board I do not even see a relay on this one. I don't see the typical pin configuration that you would with your relay unless that is one. If it is, it's a little four pin relay. It does look kind of boxy, so I bet you that's a relay over here. Yeah. Maybe this is the previous model of the Kelsey Hayes before the uh, advent of the newer ones and it does look like it has held up better than the newer ones so well i'll probably go over this uh just in case that it is an issue we'll do uh we'll resolder the typical things that since it's a part i 
doubt I wind up charging this guy for this repair though. Because I don't believe it's broken. If you can't get these to reflow, a little flux will help. I'm not using any right here. They look like they're flowing together pretty good. And I got some flux in my it's a flux core solder, so. seeing how that uh, any of these would have been a problem though. So basically you just want to get them hot, flow some new solder into there. This is the same repair for the ones that are that are bad. These are the same points that you're going to want to reflow. Anytime you're on the ground pin, it takes a lot more heat because the ground will dissipate the heat throughout the component and try to, it takes a little more time on the, a little more dwell time. Sometimes a little flux will help with that. Whispering for. Uh, I don't have a microphone, so I don't want to, you know, <laughs> talk and be quiet so that nobody could uh, hear me. I'm going to disappoint you guys today. Rolled off some new solder before I burned my fingers. I know that's no fun, right? Anytime you add a bunch of flux like that, you want to get it back off of there and uh, do that with a little alcohol. You want to use 99% alcohol. 99% alcohol is 99% instead of 80%. 80% alcohol is only 80% alcohol. Guess what the rest is? That would be water. You don't want to put water on your board. Alright. Cut off of there so it doesn't cause any trouble down the road. Let's see if we can get over these pins as well here.
I'm doing pins and in a close proximity to another pin you just want to make sure your solder does not wind up I'll call it bridging between one pin and another so that can cause a bad day a little bit of a fire hazard perhaps if you're not comfortable with that take your device to somebody like me mm -hmm. I'm going to go over this mystery component too. I don't know what the hell this connector does, but while I'm here, might as well hit it. said if you're having a hard time on one side versus another <laughs> well you found the ground all right that's basically the repair that you want to make on these like i said this is a little one off of the normal kelsey hayes so after that i'm not gonna go through that whole process on video you try to keep this one shorter you want to get yourself some black rtv you want to squeeze yourself a little bead around there all the way around so that it gets so it's watertight you'll put your component lid back on and i use clamps to just clamp it like that and hold it in place while it dries if you don't have clamps duct tape whatever just you know, till it dries, then take your duct tape back off and mount your component back on your ABS pump. Thanks for watching the video today. If uh, you got any use out of it, then uh, please uh, take a couple seconds to like and subscribe. Took me longer than that to make the video, so just give me two seconds. Thanks a lot.